don't think there's confusion as much as fatigue. I think people think they want to be over it. They don't want to mask anymore. And maybe they don't want to get any more shots. Only 30% of people got a third shot after full vaccination. So it may be that less than that will go for the Omicron booster. Lenox Hill pulmonologist Dr. Len Horowitz is recommending that all his patients receive the latest COVID booster to fight the BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariant. It's recommended for all individuals 12 years and older who are at least two months past previous boosters or the original series of vaccines. The Pfizer BioNTech is for anyone 12 and older, Moderna for those 18 and older. And while the CDC recommends getting a flu shot at the same time as this latest booster, Dr. Horowitz believes in spacing them apart. The body needs a few weeks to process a vaccine, and I like to separate vaccines by two weeks or three weeks, if possible. Also this past week, Governor Hochul lifted the mandatory mask requirement for subways, something this Lenox Hill pulmonologist says may be a bit premature. I don't like to criticize policies. I would mask in the subway. I would encourage people to mask in crowded public places, elevators, and certainly in medical office buildings. You don't know who the vulnerable people are around you, and you don't want to expose them. And since you may be asymptomatic, you could cause somebody a severe infection by not masking. <laughs> While many may think the worst of the pandemic is behind us, Dr. Harvitt says between 400 and 500 people die each day in this country because of COVID. I've been seeing a steady drip, drip, drip of COVID cases all summer. And so, yes, as people go indoors and there's more socializing and parties and school, uh, I do think we're going to see a surge this fall, which is why I'm encouraging people to get that Omicron booster.